It's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for. Please don't cry. What is the date? Uh, the tenth, right around the tenth. I should know. Today is my daughter's birthday. Yeah, so right around the tenth. But the timing is fluid. I want to thank you for your patience, waiting for the second round of the May readings that are coming out. I know I've done five of them. I got seven to go. I uh, thank you for your patience. They're coming. I'm, I'm about to uh, get them done. So I've just been a really busy girl. So um, they're coming. They are coming. <laughs> Anyhow, so what do we got? What do we got? I've had so many. I've had a lot going on, put it that way. Anyhow, uh, let's go, go get to the message. What do we have for a message today? What do we have? Tr judgment. What I see is judgment. So, life-changing decision. Ready to be judged. The end of things. An awakening. A wake-up call. Uh, being held accountable. Truth. A truth coming out. Some uh, final decision. There could be some legal issues that are popping up. Somebody's making a judgment call. They're making a decision. There's a, a decision. Life-changing decision. The magician. So, as above, so below. This is what you asked for. Very powerful, very masculine energy. The magician is very masculine energy. This is about action. This is a golden opportunity because this is about manifesting. Somebody has manifested something. They, you know, they asked for it. That's what the magician does. They asked for it and they're getting their desired outcome. This is what you asked for. Isn't this what you wanted? So somebody has manifested something. Now, the roses are pretty prominent here. So, you know, roses are a symbol of love. Romance is in the air. So this may have to do with love. May or may not, though. This is somebody that is very focused, very aware, very skilled, has called in or now it's like now they're, you know, it's like sent a desire, okay, or a manifestation up to the universe and as above, so below. It's being brought, you at this is what you wanted, here it is, okay. Ooh, seven of wands, that's climbing up coming up getting to the top climbing up the ladder going up something is coming up something is about to come up slowly somebody's been taking their time they're slowly moving up slow slowly coming up they may have been caught off guard they may have been a little fearful hmm doesn't look like it's very easy either. It may be a little challenging. So somebody is facing some challenging, some challenges, some challenges. But they have the power. They have the resources within them. They've, they're they about to take action. Hmm. Happiness. A lot of happy. The sun card's extreme happiness. So yes. Now these are both yeses. So if you have a yes or no question, the answer is yes. To whatever it was yes okay sun is happiness a new beginning a new life something very positive both very positive energy something very positive is happening we have a new day a new beginning a breakthrough so this is a breakthrough and judgment is about being accepted and so isn't the sun so accepting something accepting this new beginning accepting this new life and there could be a birth a news of a birth um but this is, you know, it's a very challenge. Somebody is feeling very challenged with their current circumstances, but they're not giving up. And they're finding their strength. They're finding their strength to 
uh, overcome whatever this challenge is. I'm going to do it because of, for my own happiness, my own new beginning. So, and this is very powerful. This is taking action. So somebody is going to take action. It's a very powerful time for manifestation. Somebody has manifested something very, very good. Put it that way. This is absolutely a yes. This is great health or good health or healing. Um, it's a blessing. Beautiful. Ace of Pentacles. Oh my God. Three yeses. Yes, yes, yes. So yes, 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 yes. The answer is yes. Those are both, all three of them are yeses, but struggling. Somebody was struggling. Must have something to do with the relationship. It's got to with this Ten of Cups. It has to do with a, with wanting to be in a relationship or wanting to commit to a relationship. Or it's all about happiness. This is extreme happiness and so isn't this. Bliss. So this is a very happy, positive time. This is a new opportunity. Remember, it's funny because I said golden opportunity with this one. This is literally a golden opportunity. So we do have a golden opportunity. Somebody's, and this is manifestation as well. Somebody has manifested something very positive. They have manifested a new beginning. It's what you asked for. Now, this is love. It does have to do with a love, a relationship, or a new beginning in love, or a healing of love. Or a renewal in love. Because this can be a renewal. Okay. Um, but there's been some sort of challenge. It's not easy. It's not an easy to climb out of something. Okay. Because this is climbing up. It's not easy to, you know, do whatever this is. It's not, for some reason, it, it, there's some a struggle here. Um, but this is a golden opportunity. Now, some may have something to do with keys or moving into a new home or moving into a new house or something like that. Um, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a new job, a new enterprise with the Ace of Pentacles. Whatever this is, it's very positive. It's brand new, okay, or it's a renewal, okay. This is very positive. There's, a, there's an opportunity that is being given to you that could lead to something permanent, could lead to something long-term, could have something to do with keys, okay, or a ring even. This ring seemed to pop out. Um, oh, and it definitely, I feel like it has to do with love because we have rows here and rows here. So it may have something to do with, with love. Uh, it's an opportunity. It's a big one. It is definitely a big opportunity. Somebody is saying yes. Somebody could be getting proposed to, okay? Just saying, I'm not saying that's going to happen for everybody, but this is definitely a, a, a yes. This is extreme happiness, extreme bliss with the sun card. It is. Somebody has went up. They've went up into extreme happiness or they're going, they're going into something that is going to make them extremely happy. This is something long term. This is something positive. It's what they asked for. It's something permanent. It's, this is it. Okay. Um, oh my God. Somebody definitely could be getting proposed to. That's the hair of fun. They be, could get, be getting into a commitment if it's not a proposal. Yes, I want to be in this commitment. Yes, I want to be in this relationship or something like that. doesn't have to be, but this could be a new establishment again. Okay. Um, this is a higher power. This is God bringing somebody a golden opportunity, but it's not going to be uh, easy. I don't think it's going to be easy. It may scare you. It may scare you. It may be a little scary. So there is an element of fear here. There is. Um, Now, this is about believing and have faith. You need to have faith. Have faith in this new beginning. Have faith in this new life. Have faith in this um, new opportunity that is being brought to you from a higher power. The Hierophant is a higher power. Um, this could also be the government or somebody that is... Um, mm, taking action... Because this is this could be a government, it could be a teacher, a guidance, somebody, a guidance counselor, a uh, priest, uh, God, whatever. This is somebody, anybody. This is somebody that, um, but he's pointing up to above. So it may have something to do with heaven, okay? So, um, this is extreme happiness, new life, right in your glory. Somebody is going to be, somebody is going to be right in their glory. With whatever it is that they're getting. They're getting something very solid, very stable, very secure. It's what you asked for. It's a new life. 
It is. It may, it may not have been easy, but things are about to get better. Eight of Cups reversed. Now, the Eight of Cups reversed is somebody may be apologizing. They may be apologizing. They may have been avoiding. They were refusing to uh, move on, pretending to be happy, superficial. There could have been some sort of wild goose chase where somebody walked away and now they want to come back and they've been playing games. There's emotional weakness here with the Eight of Cups reversed, lack of spiritual growth. Um, pretending to be happy, but not happy, pretending something, you know, um, somebody could be coming back with the eight of cups reverse. They left, they walked away, they ghosted, whatever. They caused some emotional disappointment and now they're coming back. That could be the case with the eight of cups reversed. The tower, the tower reversed. Now, uh, there could have been a fight. This could have been a fight. There was some upheaval, some destruction. Something fell apart. It fell apart very, very fast. Somebody may be wanting to come back and start over. Let's start over. Let's rebuild this foundation. We'll build it stronger this time. So somebody may be taking action to rebuild something that fell apart by the looks of things. There could have been a fight or there could have been a disruption or some upheaval or some chaos or one, somebody made a wrong move and everything fell apart really, really fast. Somebody left and now they want to come back. Somebody retreated because they were scared. They were fearful. Now they're climbing out. They're climbing out of that hole that they were in and they want, because this is a yes, yes. I, 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 maybe they've been enlightened because, you know, judgment is a wake up call and the hair fun is too. Really, it's enlightenment. <laughs> Maybe they've been enlightened that this is where, where their happiness lies, that they could be happy here. You know, something like that. This is extreme happiness. So I feel like something fell apart um, really, really fast. It just like crumbled and it caused some sort of chaos or upheaval. Somebody left and they may be apologizing coming back. Uh, but the magician is a very masculine energy, somebody that is taking action. Um, to rebuild. Okay, it looks like we're going to rebuild what what fell apart. That's what it looks like to me. Ooh, Ace of Cups reverse. It's very emotional. Somebody may be emotionally unavailable. You know, they may, they may have been um, well, obviously emotionally discontent or, like I said, a lack of emo uh, immature. You know, emotionally immature. Um, unable to love for some reason, um, closed off emotionally. They may have had an emotional black blockage, you know, um, maybe they're, they were fearful of love or something like that. This is, this is walking away, not opening their heart. Somebody didn't open their heart. There's a lot of tears here as well. Some, but something could have happened that was drastic. Something drastic could have happened. And, you know, it really uh, caused some sort of emotional oh, setback or something like caused somebody to walk away. They just couldn't deal with it. Somebody couldn't deal. They couldn't deal with the feelings that they were feeling. Somebody walked away. Ah, the Empress. The Empress. She looks pretty uh, comfortable with herself. She's she's uh, gives birth to a new life after after uh, dealing with some sort of pain. So uh, there definitely could be somebody that is getting pregnant here, pregnant here, or news of a child, or news of a rebirth, the birth of something new. This is about love. It's about abundance. This is an opportunity to be taken care of. Okay? This is a very motherly energy. The Empress is a mother. She's the, she's, could be Taurus or a Libra. Doesn't have to be, but she's, she's a mother. She's a natural. She can make anything grow. She's very nurturing. Very sensual, very sexual, very beautiful. She demonstrates love. She's wealthy. She does everything with love. So we have an, we have an empress here that is 
I don't know. I think so. So it looks like she's very comfortable. She's very comfortable in her skin. She's uh, she's just waiting. She's waiting for the time. She's waiting for her blessing. She's waiting for her gift. She is waiting for her gift. She's done a lot of work. She doesn't look very happy, though. This empress seems to look pretty sad. I mean, she does look sad. She's sad over a something that has happened because of the tower. The tower was right behind her. So something has happened drastic. Something drastic has happened, which has made her sad. Probably very emotional. Interesting, because the Ace of Cups is reversed. There's definite sadness here. So we have an empress that is sad over something that fell apart by the looks of things. This fell apart. She's sad. She's sad. Why is she sad? She's sad because she's such a lover. She's the goddess of love. And to that person that says the empress is not the goddess of love, go fuck yourself. From the empress. This is about commitment. This is about commitment. It's about happiness. Home. Marriage. She's waiting for commitment. She's waiting for growth. This is all about growth. Building a home. Building a commitment. There's going to be a celebration. Celebrating life. There could be an upcoming celebration. Building. Building something together. So the Empress is all about happiness. She's all about growth. And this is about growth as well. Planting seeds. Seeds growing, cultivating, building things up. Building a home together. This is like building a home or building building up a garden or something like that together. It's like harvest. This is this is like harvest. Interesting. So there could be a proposal or something by harvest time. I know that that's a little bit off for this reading, but somebody could end up getting proposed to or getting pregnant or having a baby or something like that by harvest time. Because you notice they got harvest here and this is like the wheat has grown. Something about harvest time. So something could happen around harvest time. Um, and harvest time, whatever that is in your neck of the woods. Um, there's going to be... Um, Maybe that's when there's going to be a proposal or things become solid or something like that. But there is a good, solid opportunity that leads to marriage. It leads to commitment. It leads to something very long term with somebody that that is very loving and nurturing and generous and kind and beautiful. Okay, but you got to remember the Empress is does have multiple options. Everybody comes to help her because she's so kind. She's so gentle. She's so loving. Okay, um, so somebody maybe she may have to choose. She may have to make some a choice or two or three. Um, she definitely has some choices to make. So, but and it's very emotional. It is definitely very emotional. But I think there is something that has crumbled. It has fallen apart, and she may. It seems like she's you know she got her. It feels like there's a little bit of stress here. There's a little bit of I don't know what it is. She doesn't look, she looks kind of sad, like something has happened. So we could have a, a mother or a wife or a, a woman, that's a feminine energy, that is a little sad over some sort of um, event that caused a breakdown. Things broke down, but I think there's an opportunity to build it up. And now it's interesting, build it up in another way. Build it up so that it actually grows. Yes. So, yes, that's what it is. So, there's there's a new opportunity here to rebuild the foundation in a different manner. So, there could be something that is coming back that has already, you know, it's not over yet. This is like, it, you may have thought it was over. You may have thought that it was, it was dead or something. It's not. This is like a disaster. Okay, something has happened, but it's not over. So I feel that um, there is some sort of, uh, well, the magician takes action to bring success, is willing to let go of the old to bring in the new. We have some very positive changes that are coming. Somebody is coming back to fix something that they broke. And they're going to do it. 
a little bit differently this time. <laughs> I don't know who's reading this is, but I hope it's for you. God bless and good luck.